<laughs> this is so good. Okay, no problem. Yeah, that's not easy. I don't turn my head for nobody yelling out loud. Y'all, I need to cut my hair so bad. Cut my hair so bad. Like, I need to get my ends clipped. I need to just chop it off, please. When I go to the, when I go get my hair done tomorrow, I'm gonna take my scarf off. I know my style is gonna be like, kind of braids <laughs> and that's why i'm coming to you good morning y'all i'm at my hair appointment but i'm very early it's 9 48 my apartment um, my apartment my appointment starts at 10 so i'm here early because i wanted to get me some breakfast so i don't like chick-fil-a's little hash browns i don't even like those little hash browns i think they're actually really disgusting no matter where you get them from i don't like them i like hash browns but not the little hash brown rounds so you know chick-fil-a only has the hash brown rounds so i just got a fruit cup and then i got a chicken egg and cheese on a english mcmuffin Wow, I'm supposed to eat the fruit. A few things that I need to get done today. This is a maintenance vlog for my birthday, so um, I need to go get my nails done, my feet done, my eyebrows. I'm gonna do all of that once I leave here. And I also need to run some errands real quick. Um, so yeah, I will check back in. Oh, that looks good. I'll check back in when I'm in the salon getting my hair done. Do you want me to get your face? No. <laughs> okay. That's all I was like, let me just start right here, because I don't know.
skills and practice make perfect. I'm dead. <laughs> traffic for what felt like 30,000 hours. I'm now at the nail salon about to get my feet done, my nails done, my eyebrows done, all a bit done because you can't be a bad without all of that clean. No, I'm just kidding. But I think the lady that usually does my nails, right? Her schedule is so like boo stinks. She usually works. Let me show you her schedule. She usually works Tuesday through Thursday, maybe a Monday, but she does not work on the weekend. She doesn't work on a Friday at all, period. So I called yesterday. Surprisingly, she answers the phone. And then um, she tells me that she's not going to be in town or she's not going to be available today and tomorrow. So I don't trust anybody else on my nails. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just cut them down short. Yep, yep. Until, she said she would be available Thursday to do my nails, but that's my birthday and I don't have, I'm not, I don't wanna go to the nail salon and get my nails on my birthday, like forget it. So I'm gonna just go ahead and, um, damn, I cut myself really bad. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these down and just make them short. <laughs> the last time I had short nails y'all but it is what it is I gotta do what I gotta do this is my to-do list <laughs> so I'm gonna cross everything off that I did I cleaned the dishes I cleaned up around my apartment was my hair appointment and now we're at the nail salon so let's go ahead and go inside hopefully the wait isn't too long because I'm not in the mood the bob looks better this go around she definitely killed it. It looks... Mm, Shots kissed! It is 2 o'clock. Hopefully, I'll be out of here by... for the latest. And then, I'm going to go to Target. Because <laughs> I need to pick up some things. This is a maintenance vlog. Alright. Let's go inside. sit you down and just let your feet sit in water I'd rather just wait in the front I also don't like when my skin touches the seat I knew I was forgetting something I knew I needed to bring a jacket but a little bad you know we stay good friends we get so crazy Now I'm about to get 
eyebrows done because I was telling y'all it was looking crazy. I mean, my eyebrows are just so pretty. This is OPI bubble bath. Very cute. This is so nasty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. Very cute. I think this one is a little. It's a little big, but it's okay. Very cute. Okay. I just want to clean it up. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing too thin. <laughs> Your hair beautiful. Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> I just got it done today. She gonna take off like a few. You already know. nails done hair done my eyebrows my toes they killed my feet they look so good and my nails look really good too they said they ran out of funny bunny and i really just wanted to do funny bunny since i was gonna go really short with my nails but i usually get it as like a base coat i think it's the perfect the nude color for it's the perfect color for dark skin women so if you are dark skin try it out and if you have dark knuckles try it out we're gonna head over to we're heading over to target now because i need to i was watching the stush life stush i was watching her watching her vlog while i was in there but um gonna head over to target because i need to pick up some nair all right so i didn't come in here initially to get this robe but all the black ones are double xl and triple xl there's none of my size but i really just wanted a black Nice silk robe and <laughs> not like Finny. This is cute. This. Remember I came in here and I had seen the all black one? Now they have it in a different color. In this green color. Let's see, armpit stains. This is really cute. I don't think this color is going to be flattering on me though. <laughs>
is dying. Talk to you later. Catch y'all up on game. My camera was charging. Damn, I put everything in the trunk. Let me get it. Okay. Well, my camera was charging, I went to a few different stores. I went to Walmart. Um, I got pillows and I got some sheets for my line sisters who are coming into town because I don't sleep with a lot of pillows. I only own two pillows. So yeah, I need the pillows for my girls. So, got that at Walmart, and then I came over to Ulta, and I just was like walking around. You know, I had my I had my lunch at Chipotle or whatever, so I was rejuvenated, I was feeling good. I had my Chipotle, I was feeling good, so I headed over to Ulta, got me, I didn't get anything at Ulta. I left Ulta. And then I went over to TJ Maxx. And look what they had at TJ Maxx. I've never bought jewelry from TJ Maxx before. But I could not resist. And my birthday is Thursday. And I was like, ah, bleed me out. Ice me out. So I got two rings. Initially, I was just going to get one of them. The one that's in a size 7. Uh, but this ring, I thought would be so cute so cute especially with my short very natural nails let me see look at that how pretty look at this how pretty so this is in a size 7 Woo! and then I got another one in a size 9 because I want to wear it on my thumb now listen I Oh, this is it. So this is the seven. That's the size seven. And this one was $20. And this is the size nine. And this one was $24.99. So here are the two together. The bottom one is the nine and the, the top one is the seven. So I can see that they are kind of different but they serve the same purpose. How pretty! <laughs> so the nine is supposed to be on my thumb, which I don't know. Maybe my thumb is a size ten. Let me see, because it's not gonna fit on any other. I don't know why the who the fuck was honking at me. Get your ass on, <sighs> y'all. I know I'm a bad bitch, but come with like some class if you're gonna try to talk to me. I'm walking into Walmart and dude was hanging out the charger like, hey, ah! And I'm not even looking at you at this point. Then I'm walking to my car to get inside my car. And I guess a guy is in his truck and he honks his horn. You think I'm about to, you think I'm about to turn around and see who's honking at me? Are you dumb? Like, no. Anyway, and I knew he, at first I was like, okay, maybe he accidentally honked the horn. But then I started to talk to myself. I was like, if he's honking the horn to get my attention, I'm not turning my head. I don't, listen, there's a couple of things that I don't do. I don't turn my head to guys who be hooting and hollering like, hey, hey. I don't turn my head for that. I don't turn my head for, hey girl, I don't turn my head for that. I don't turn my head for nobody yelling out loud. Okay, thanks. Cause if, no, we're not doing that. So, not you honking at me. Anyway. This is the nine. <laughs> and okay, it's on the thumb. Purr, purr. I think it's cute. The short nails, I don't know, girl. I don't know. They're they're obviously gonna have to grow on me. I like how short they are because you know I can easily do things. Not that I couldn't with the longer nails, but sometimes you know i would hit things things like that but 
these are cute anyways tomorrow we have a really fun day tomorrow ah, i'm so y'all did i tell y'all i took the whole week off like all this week i'm off next monday i'm off and last thursday and friday i was off i didn't really talk to y'all because my hair wasn't really done and i just wasn't feeling my best but now that my hair is done i could be on camera chatting it up with y'all but yeah, I took the whole week off. It's my birthday. My birthday's on Thursday, and I don't, I don't want nobody bothering me. Let's keep the peace, baby. And I'm just gonna live my best influencer slash entrepreneur slash living my best life with no restrictions life. Okay? So yeah, I really want to, you know, I don't know if show God or prove to God that I'm worthy because I feel like God knows that I'm worthy of anything. And I don't know how to articulate it into words, but this week and, you know, since I put in my time off, I kept thinking to myself, I need to show God that I don't think worthy is the word. I really want to say I want to show God that I'm worthy of living this life. Do you get what I'm saying? A life where I don't have to clock into a job or a life where I have to go to a nine to five. Listen, I am pro nine to five. Do not get that wrong. OK, there was years I was I would always say there's no way I would ever leave a nine to five job. Blah, 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 none of that. I don't ever want to be an entrepreneur. I said those things because I like steady income. And a couple of years ago, maybe like 2019, it was when I realized like, maybe I do have the ability to not always have to work a nine to five for the rest of my life. You know, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Thursday was my first day off from the time that I took off. And when I tell y'all, I felt so grateful. My camera's about to die while I'm over here being real with y'all. Ah, I felt so grateful and so blessed that I was able to wake up on a Thursday during the week and not have to do my regular nine to five work. I felt so free. I edited videos. I planned out content. I, it's crazy. Anyways, guess what's going on tomorrow? Yes, I booked a hotel for us to stay in. So I'm going to go um, stay in a hotel tomorrow night. It's only for one night. I just need a change of scenery before the girls come. Nothing too crazy. And I really booked it because, one, it's my birthday. Two, the hotel that I booked has the decor is beautiful. And I need to take my pictures there, period. And three, content. <laughs> I want to. I just want to experience something new with y'all. And I want to experience something new for myself. I want to bring in my 29th year zen out. Feeling rejuvenated in a new space. You know, it doesn't... Obviously, it's not long term because it's just a one night stay. But just change the scenery. I think will reset me a little bit. And that's what I'm looking forward to. So let me go ahead and go home and charge up this camera. But I did want to mention before my camera dies, hopefully it doesn't die on me, that I went back to Ulta to pick up a perfume and this is the Billie Eilish perfume. I just bought the tester spray, the travel one because that's usually how I do it unless I'm super obsessed with the scent. But oh my goodness, this is a lot. Am I tripping? This is a big, long bottle. No, it's probably just the link, but yeah. This smells so warm. All right, I'm back in the house. Let me, I'm washing clothes. I wanted to share everything that I got during this maintenance day, this maintenance vlog. So let me start off with the lashes that I picked up. Y'all see me pick up a couple of pairs from the hair store and I wanna share with y'all the exact ones that I got just in case you're interested and you wanna give them a try. So, holy grail of mine is the IMB Matte 3D Invisible Band Lashes in the number 08. These are the lashes that I wear when I want to give enough, but not too much. Number eights always come into play for me. 
And I've mentioned these before on a video of mine when I was doing my makeup. I've mentioned them on Instagram, all that good stuff. These kind. Now, I Envy has a few different lines. This is the matte 3D line. So it's the white box with the, navy, with the I said navy blue, with the burgundy writing on it. Number eight. Because you'll see another I Envy line and they'll have the number eight. So just be aware it's the white box. Then these are the I Envy extension curls in the L curl version. They do have the C curl, I believe, and those are the only two curls that I use from this line. This is the number 02, really wispy and flirty and fun. And then you have 01, which are a little bit shorter, but much more dense. I learned about these through Hilo Lux. I think she mentioned them before in her IG story or IG reel, one of the two. I screenshotted it and I picked it up. I don't know for a fact if it was the L curl or the C curl, but any curl from this line is pretty good. Then I picked up some lashes that are very new to me. I've never picked up these lashes before. They're supposed to be like, you know, mink lashes, mink, mink, you know? So I wanted to test these out for my birthday just because I wanted something fluffy, something fun, something different for the look. So I got three different pairs. I got the, oh, I'm kind of ashy. Sorry, y'all, but it's okay. <laughs> I got the Queen by Majestic Ultra Light and Fluffy Max Lashes. I got them in two different styles. I have Isabella and Elizabeth. This is Isabella and this is Elizabeth. I think Elizabeth is much more fluffy uh, while Elizabeth is fluffy but more of a cat eye effect you see how it's very short in the beginning and then elongates towards the end whereas this it's the same concept but these are fluffier uh let me see let me take them out the box so y'all can get a better view so i can see the side profile of them something about having short nails is making me feel really preppy. I don't know. Something about it is just making me feel very poshed <laughs> and clean, especially with this bob, you know? All right, got it out the box. Let me see if y'all can see. You see how that looks? Yeah. This is Elizabeth. Very fluffy. Super pretty, though. Yeah, very, very pretty. Ooh, cannot wait to put these on. And then I'll show y'all Isabella outside of the box as well. Elizabeth, girl, you are pretty. Yeah, I am so ashy. I be washing my hands, that's the issue. <laughs> okay, so this is Isabella. And this is the side profile, look at that. Yeah, y'all weren't gonna be able to get the full the full gist of it if I didn't take it out the box. Very pretty. And like I said, they're super fluffy. Yeah, I'll just do a comparison. And they feel really soft. This is just in case you wanna screenshot this or if you see these in your local beauty supply store and you wanna test them out, I'm giving you an idea of what they're going to look like. And again, these are from Poppy and Ivy Beauty, Queen by Majestic. This is the packaging if you want to screenshot this or take a picture of it rather. So yeah. And then lastly, I got another pair of mink lashes. These are by I Envy again though. Uh, this is their luxury mink in the number 02. Oh. It says 100% real mink, maximum fluffiness, glamorous eye look. I'm not making it. I'm not making this up. This is literally what it says on the box. So here are these. I like these because of how they are a little spaced out. They have some space in between, and I feel like this is gonna give me a very like flirty look. I don't know. I hope that makes sense. But yeah, it says 100% real mink. So let me open this one up so y'all can see. Okay. Damn. So here are the I Envy lashes. Ooh, very nice and soft again. How 
pretty. It's the side profile. Very pretty. Ooh. So I don't know <clears throat> which ones I'm gonna do for my birthday or my photo shoot tomorrow. I did. And then my camera died before I could share with y'all the perfume that I got. Or yeah, this is the Billie Eilish perfume. It is so warm. The scent of this perfume is so warm. I don't, something about it. It kind of like, it smells really good, but a part of me is like, it kind of stink. Some of, I don't know. I think it works best with my body chemistry because I sprayed it on me and I wore it around while I was at TJ Maxx. But something about this scent, it's giving me everything. Oof. Well, not everything. It's giving me 95%. You know, 5% of me is like, you sure you really like this? But I just got the travel size. This was $24. And then, y'all seeing that I have went to Target to get a robe. And I did end up getting a robe. This is the one that I got. It's a nice satin robe, this pretty color. I'm sure that y'all, everybody has seen this at Target. It is always at Target. So I got this one, very pretty. But I wanted something more neutral. So I went over to, so when I was in TJ Maxx, I see this one. Hallelujah. I feel like this is gonna fit the aesthetic better. An all white fluffy robe. I feel like this is gonna give me the vibe that I'm looking for while I'm in the hotel, while I'm creating content, while I'm just laying in the bed watching TV. This is gonna give me, ah, I'm at a spa, you know? This is by Calvin Klein. It has Calvin Klein stitched in on one side of the robe in this nice like peach color. They did have this robe in robe. They had this robe in lavender as well, and I wanted to pick up the lavender, but I was like, the lavender is not gonna go with the aesthetic. I'm an aesthetic girl. Okay, usually when I'm picking out somewhere to eat, the the inside has to be cute. Okay, the inside has to be cute, or else I'm getting it to go. Also from Target. I picked up some Nair body cream. I'm gonna use this tonight. I need to use this on my legs. And then I picked up Dr. Teal's Shea Sugar Scrub in Citrus. This body scrub is so coarse, but it's so good. This citrus one smells so good. If you like anything, citrus scents, tropical, pick up the citrus one. This is fire, I love it. So I'm gonna use this tonight on my feet. Yeah, y'all, but anyways, I have a to-do list for tonight. I need to do some laundry because on my birthday, I don't plan on really like cleaning anything. I'll be checking out of the hotel on Thursday morning and then Thursday throughout the day, I'll probably just, I don't know, maybe tomorrow while I'm in the hotel, I'll book something for me to do. I was gonna book a spa day, which I still might. I might, yeah, I might book a spa day. So Thursday, I might go to the spa. But I don't know, I don't wanna sweat out the lace. I don't know, sure. I don't wanna do it. I'm not sure. I wanted to get a, a full body massage, but the way body massages be hurting me, they make my body hurt. And I cannot afford to be in pain this weekend. Okay, I'm trying to go out, I'm trying to have fun. But I really wanted to book a full body massage, but y'all, I got a massage in Tulum and it hurt. It hurt while I was getting it done. And then a couple days later when I got back to the States, my body was in pain. I'm not doing that again. That is it. I think I'm gonna close out this maintenance vlog, y'all. I think I'm gonna go ahead and close out this maintenance vlog. I am so, so happy that I did a video like this. I got my hair done with y'all. We did our nails, we did our feet, we got our eyebrows waxed, okay? We got picked up some essentials for the big day. And you know, for just a day of relaxation tomorrow. So I hope you all enjoyed. <laughs> if you did, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe. That is not what I say. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And come back for more videos. Thank you all so much for watching again and I will see y'all later. Bye y'all.